Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sego Starcraft here. Sego Beercraft is in effect, I'm a little Canadian right now. I was sitting down watching some of my recent ladder replays. We have Omniscient. I was playing random, but I got Terran down here in the bottom left, up against... Eldenarchus. I wonder if that's a real name or not. I have never heard of it before in my life. Blue Protoss up here in the top right. This is a bit of a longer game and a funkier game, so we're going to speed it up a little bit because that's just what I do when it's a longer, funkier game. Now my TVP, which is my most evolving matchup, I guess you could say right now. A lot of struggles with uh, dealing late game Protoss. And right now, the blink, two base blink play is like the most popular thing anybody's doing right now, just to be cool. Seems to work on the pro side, the amateur side, everybody just likes their two base a blink play. I did do a little bit of scouting around my base just to make sure there wasn't any proxy pylons or gateways, seeing this one probe here. Sometimes they might throw down a pylon and then start cannon rushing you, uh, but I, I'd be able to see that before I'd have too much impact, I believe. Come up here, do a quick scout, see the gas, see the gateway. It's actually gas before gate, so the guy really wants to get his gas flying, and I'll go for my engineering bay block. The most standard of blocks. That's so good. He wants to block my expansion, but I actually really don't have any big anticipation to go for an expansion. If nobody starts attacking me, if the Protoss it doesn't start attacking this, then I know that attack is coming after me, so my expansion timing is for sure going to be delayed. So I'll be going into some additional racks. Pylon will sp well, pylon. The probe will scout the extra racks there as it's going down. Do have a gas started. Lots of gas built up right now. Was thinking about throwing down a factory, but instead I'm going to be going a little bit more defensive just because the engineering bay has not once again been attacked. Tech lab going down. Three barracks. And I'm going to throw down a bunker just to be safe. As we can see, we have a four gate. Ooh, four gates anymore, really. Four gate Twilight Council. So it is going to be... And I actually scanned at the perfect timing to see that a Twilight Council. See the gateway, see the Chrono Boost on the warp gate. And the fact that this is not getting killed tells me that I'm going to be attacked by likely Blink Play. But it could be some sort of DT. I didn't see the warping in gateways in the back. I only could see the front with that scan. So therefore I will throw down myself a missile turret conveniently allowed by my engineering bay a block up here. Okie doke. Missile turrets, this is just way too safe. I was thinking that that was a little bit dorky for me to put down as well. It's not likely that he's going to go Stargate, but I've played against some fairly bad Protoss in the, my time that will go like, oh, it's a Twilight Council, plus a Robo, plus a Stargate for Oracles, and then yeah, they somehow fluke out and hit you with one of those techs that you aren't prepared for. So, he is going to come down here and see that this is blocked. He is starting to warp in his Stalkers. Blink is on the way, but I have Stim and concussive shells happening. My reactor is now finished up. So if I wasn't so badly supply blocked, I'd probably be able to pre produce more units. Now I'm on supply blocked. That's all right. So I do see this being killed off by just stalkers. If you generally going to see a zealot if they're coming for an expansion, I'm still extremely convinced that it is going to be a blink attack. Because of the timing of the Twilight Council, it would have been more likely that if there was a DT attack, I wouldn't be seeing that many stalkers out there. Factory's going to go down to get me towards a starport. I'll speed it up slightly again. And another extra bunker, just to be safe. I don't think I spotted that pylon yet. He's got pylons in a couple spots. So the attack will be on its way soon. It's essentially a one base blink, which is really strange. Stim packs a little bit more than the halfway is done. Combat shields on the way as well. So I'll have some pretty tanky bio units in place. Starport is going to go down. So I start getting out of them there, metabacks. And I'm also going to be making some Widow Mines as soon as I can afford it. Widow Mines are a really cool thing to mix in with Defending Blink. He might have been able to blink into the base there, uh, but his Mothership Core is a little bit behind. So we'll see how well this guy can control it. That is... 14 stalkers. Watch out for my funky missile turret. Against a pretty good sized army that I have over here. He does have blink as an advantage, but he's got no upgrades. I have combat shields, concussive shells, and stim is finished. Stargate is getting the reactor. Is on the way now. So it looks like he wants to go put on this pressure. He's expanding behind this now. 
pulling back my army because I gotta see this. He is gonna snipe down the reactor, which is, you know, it's nice to at least get something done. But he is gonna lose himself. He lost about six stalkers in that attack and almost the mothership core. My units do not have medevacs, so any damage they take is kind of permanent. But he also does not have anything to scout for my widow mines that are in place here. So I'm not feeling too bad about this. I mean, I've got a bit of a supply lead. Tech's in the right spot. I'll get my command center on the high ground because I can afford it now. And I'm starting to make medevacs as well. That one marine died really, really horribly. Another handful of stalkers is really not enough now for him to break through this. I don't think he's really got enough units all together to be able to hold off. Even with a good blink stalker micro, getting into the base is a difficulty. And once again, these are this is amateur leagues. These aren't the top top of Yeah, Widow Mines. Do extra damage against shields. I'm gonna stim down here and actually he does pull back. I was hoping to catch him like macroing or something like that. Catch the mothership core. He will get away with these units. Almost snagged that. I might have been able to stim and catch another one, but I only got one meta back. So it would have been very, very crappy. Oh, I was too timid right now because I didn't have the meta backs to go and attack. But right now, if I went for an attack, I probably would have won just because I don't think his micro would have been good enough. I am a completely supply block. But he's going into Robotech now and another base. So this is where he's super vulnerable. He's got no money to buy more army with. I killed his mothership core, so he'd have no photon overcharge. And his blink micro would only be so good against stim with overwhelming units. I probably would have just crushed right through him right there. And I think watching this, I learned that that is... Probably would have been my opportunity at least go put some pressure on. I was worried about a counterattack or something like that. But then you just, since you can go for the base trade, you'll do damage faster. More barracks. Still have some Widow Mines down in place. Finally got our reactor to pump out my extra medevacs. I do scan, see the timing. His expansion really isn't mining that much. Mine's just finishing up. Uh, if we look at the unit side, he's pretty much tied in workers right now. 23 stalkers. A lot of stalkers. So I'm going to come here and do a little bit of pressure, but now he will have a photon overcharge just in time, essentially for this. Perfectly timed. And he's got so many stalkers, I didn't expect him to have that many stalkers. I was going to go for a little two prongy prong here. And he almost would have intercepted it, but he's actually going to do something even better. Well, my army's going to pressure the front. He's actually just going to blink down and attack it. And I lose so many units so quickly to this. And I only kill, I think, two or three stalkers, if that. I do go for a bit of a marine drop. And we're going to see that I make some very interesting decisions in this game. I don't know if they're the best decisions. Killing a few probes. Not much for Maiko. It's blink stalkers. You can't really escape blink stalkers. I was hoping to save the medevac, but it just kind of runs over and dies in the corner. Units-wise, though... We are still essentially tied on economy. I have all these mules to cast, which I hopefully will do soon, now that I'm back at home and macroing up. There we go. Drop the mule hammer. Moving the widow mines forward. Got a supply depot over here just to scout if I'm going to get rushed on that side. And I'm actually going to go drop a few widow mines. I didn't see or really pay attention to the fact he had Robotech, so I was hoping if I dropped some widow mines, I might catch him off guard. Uh, just kind of bugger around with him a little bit there. He manages to snipe one of them really quickly and the medevac. But this widow mine over here will be a little bit of a pain in the ass. And at the same time, interestingly enough, I will be taking a economy lead. Because he's really stopped producing probes. I don't think he intends to. I mean, this could be considered like a two-base all-in with Colossus. But he's got such a good army with Blink as a Protoss player. If you've got this in place, maybe get up your attack upgrades and then just go for an expansion. Your Blink play can shut down so many drops. So I think that would probably have been a wiser for him. Pretty good sized army for me. I have a supply lead. I have my 1-1 one, one started, so I will have a bit of a lead on the upgrades. Excuse me. And I'm still producing more workers for the base down here. Throwing down an extra command center because i got money to blow. We'll speed it up again just because now it's kind of a no-touch moment. I scan, I see he's on Colossus tech, and I don't have really the economy to produce re good anti-Colossus units like the vikings and so forth 
So what I'm hoping to do is catch him moving out. I see no expansion, so he will be attacking me soon. I just know that that is the case. I actually have a pretty good economy going at this base now. And another base on the way. Have the watchtower, and you see that this is actually going to be really important for me as this happens here. I will see this pile on with my command center. I think that triggers him to go for his push. His thermal lance is finished up, so he's in a pretty good spot. But I will see this with the, the watchtower as he goes by, and I decide now is the time to go for a run. Unfortunately, I was also c controlling my command center at the same time, so I didn't snipe down this nexus as fast as I wanted to. So I make a really, really strange decision, which is to sacrifice everything I have to kill off all of his economy. And generally, this doesn't work. It actually supplies blocking, which is hilarious. Uh, this generally doesn't work. Almost sniped a Colossus just because, um, yeah, there isn't too much you can really do. Have this. I put this command center over here, and I was trying to rally workers to it, but I'm an idiot, so that happens. This plus one is going to finish up soon. I know I can't actually beat his army. Like if I went toe to toe, there was not going to be any way for me to actually just fight him straight up. And so I gotta make another interesting decision once again, and I don't have Metabax, so I decided that Vikings would be important. Two Vikings against a fleet of Blink Stalkers. Kills a bunch of workers, and yeah, now it's time to just run past. I'm gonna mine every last dollar I can, because we're about to go into a base trade. That's all I can really say about that. He does cancel his Nexus, but if you notice his cancel, he doesn't actually have 400 minerals left. I thought that was really funny. I didn't know it at the time. Right? Fighting a little bit over here, all of his Colossus are kind of stuck in the back, not actually fighting anything, so he's losing a lot more units than he probably should. And that one remaining bunker. I'll actually kill off a few units here before anything goes down. He's obviously not microing too hard here. Trying to run out his probes, I didn't realize if he had money left or not, so I will actually use a very costly stim in order to try to get on top of as many of these probes as possible. One gets out. Is that his last one? No, he's got two. Yeah, so he's already snuck him out, he already knows his base trade time, but he doesn't have a nexus, he can't afford a nexus, and it's time for me to lift and run. I actually killed a lot of stuff in that bunker. Three kills on that person, seven kills on that one. Oh, nice little blink micro there. And I'm going to try to run away. Not that I think these things are necessarily going to escape. Uh, but I do get out a couple of medevacs, I believe. Where are they? There they are. Which are very, very important to this here. So he's going to go after those buildings, leaving everything else alive. And over here, I'll stop dropping mules. Now the base trade for me, I actually do have to kill all these buildings. Sometimes you just have to kill enough to put him in an unwinnable position. But he's got an army that I'm pretty sure would beat mine if it's together. Four Colossus and Blink Stalkers should be able to beat most things. I was hoping to get the Starport out of there because in a late game base trade, sometimes what's really nice to kill, to get going is cloaked Banshees. We can see he's got no Observer left. I don't know if I killed it off at some point. He must have run it into a Missile Turret or something like that. But because... You, if you do get out Cloak Banshees, that gives you the really, really good opportunity. Got random units everywhere. Just to, uh, to do damage he can't fight back against. Gonna land the Vikings over here. I don't think it even matters. I think that SCV actually got the kills. And I'm gonna run a medevac around to go for that pylon. Cornered. So I will try to uh, fall back. Uh, he is revealed right now, so if we look at uh, my vision, I can totally see what he's got. But I can't see where his army is for the most part of this. So I've got to be very careful. Blink Stalkers, these would be able to almost one-shot my medevac if I'm not careful enough. He's in a funky spot now, and I think it would have been worthwhile for him to try to defend his buildings. But because I didn't get revealed, he's got to know that I have a command center somewhere, and therefore he's kind of on a clock. So he's going to split up his Colossus to go and try to kill buildings. Well, I will actually come over here and try to get some damage in. Oh, 
Oh, she got some zealots in there too. Crazy. Now, most of his army is back here. He's got two Colossus and these Stalkers. And two Colossus down here. I didn't realize he split up his Colossus. What I was going to do is drop, get a bigger pile together, and just go and bum rush his army here. He might have actually beaten me, though, and the game would have been more interesting. But because I didn't get revealed, I'm sure he just felt that there was no way for him to get back into this game. Really interesting decision-making kind of game there. I don't think I made the right decisions a lot, but I did come out with a win. That was pretty fun. Sega StarCraft, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll talk with you later.